Welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be discussing an interesting topic, which is, why do some European countries have monarchies while others have republics? Europe is a continent with a rich history, and the question of how nations are governed has been a topic of great interest for centuries. So, let's dive into this topic and explore the reasons behind why some European countries have monarchies while others have republics. Firstly, let's define what a monarchy and a republic are. A monarchy is a form of government where a single person, usually a king or queen, serves as the head of state for life. The position is usually inherited through a royal family lineage. On the other hand, a republic is a form of government where the people elect a president or a group of officials to serve as the head of state for a set term. Now let's answer the question, why do some European countries have monarchies while others have republics? The answer lies in their historical and cultural background. The concept of monarchy as the legitimate form of government has been deeply ingrained in the history and culture of many European countries. In the case of the United Kingdom, the monarchy has been a part of the country's history for over a thousand years. The king or queen is seen as the embodiment of British values and traditions, and his or her role as the head of state is highly respected. Similarly, the Swedish and Danish monarchies have been in place for centuries and are an integral part of their respective national identities. The monarchs are considered to be the symbol of unity and continuity, and their role in society is highly respected. One reason why monarchies have been so prevalent in Europe is the idea of divine right, which was popularized during the Middle Ages. According to this belief, monarchs were appointed by God to rule, and their power was considered to be absolute. This was especially true for countries like Spain, where Catholicism was an integral part of the national identity. However, the concept of divine right was challenged during the Enlightenment, which gave rise to the ideas of democracy and popular sovereignty. Many European countries experienced revolutions and uprisings against the monarchy, which led to the establishment of republics. France is perhaps the most famous example of this. The French Revolution of 1789 overthrew the monarchy and established a republic. The revolution was driven by the ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity, and it marked a turning point in European history. The French model of republicanism influenced many other European countries, including Italy and Germany. In conclusion, the prevalence of monarchies and republics in European countries is largely determined by historical and cultural factors. Monarchies have been a part of European history for centuries, and many countries continue to uphold this tradition as a symbol of national identity and continuity. However, there are also countries that have rejected the monarchy in favor of a republican form of government, driven by the ideals of democracy and popular sovereignty. Ultimately, what matters most is that the people are able to participate in the political process and have a say in how they are governed. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.